Hi, I'm Stephanie Fernacci, and I'm the owner of Main Gourmet Chocolates on 5 Park Street in Lewiston. Today we're going to be making chocolate covered cherries. First we're going to add uh, 3 tablespoons of butter, 3 tablespoons of corn syrup. So we're going to mix the butter and the corn syrup together. We're going to start to incorporate the two cups of powdered sugar. So we have the two, three tablespoons of butter and the three tablespoons of corn syrup and part of the confectioner's sugar mixing in the bowl and it's beginning to get a stiff dough which is what you want. You don't want it too soft because it will rip when, it, when you're putting it around the cherries. Break the bowl here, make a ball. Just knead it together for a minute, just so it's all incorporated. Okay, and you should have a ball that looks like this. Okay, so now we have a plate with some confectioner's sugar and the cherries that have been drained on a paper towel. And we have a soap hat sprinkled with powdered sugar so that the cherries don't stick. So we're going to take a little bit of the dough, roll it, and then just kind of smush it. Make it into a little circle. Take a cherry and place it on. You just want to push the dough up around the cherry to cover it completely. It's important to make sure you get it covered at the stick at the stem so that the juice doesn't leak out. So it only takes a little bit and you can see how it covers the entire cherry. And sometimes they roll it just to kind of make it a little bit neater looking. So it should look like this. And then you'll just place them on the confectioner's sugar. They're going to have to go into the refrigerator for a couple of hours to set so that they're, um, the fondant hardens and then they will be ready to dip in the chocolate. And this recipe makes enough fondant to cover approximately 60 cherries. It's really easy to work with if your hands get, or the fondant gets a little sticky, just use some of your corn, uh, confectioner sugar from the plate. This dough came out really good, so it's working up nicely. And the fondant Wrapped cherries have sat in the refrigerator for several hours so that the fondant becomes stiff and they're ready to dip. So you just want to pick it up, tap off a little bit of the confectioner sugar, put it down in the chocolate, and tap it against the glass just a little bit, get off a little excess chocolate just so it looks, appears neater, and then just place it on your soap hat. These will need to set anywhere from one to three weeks for the liquid to form in the center of the cherry. And this is how you do chocolate covered cherries. It's that easy.